Hi, I'm Mary Gannon. This past spring and summer, Mother Nature wreaked havoc upon Iowa, impacting life, land, and property. Many educational facilities were also impacted, some even destroyed. We all know that there are lessons to be learned in a crisis. IESB spent some time this fall visiting four Iowa school districts and an AEA to determine what advice they have to give the rest of us after experiencing their natural disasters. Let's listen and learn. Delegating responsibility was real key. There was just too much to do for the staff that we had on hand. And so at our district, we hired additional people. Inside the building itself, we should have stayed away from large areas like the gymnasium. The big steel beams that support the ceiling structure actually not only collapsed, but moved great distances. And where they landed was in some of our safe areas. Make sure you have backup server. Um, even any um, t sensitive information or information that is important to have that backed up, not just a paper um, form in a file cabinet, but somewhere else online. Try to uh, communicate as much as possible to our community. There's a sense of uh, a fear of what's going to happen, the unknown. Uh, will you be there? Will the, will the school be there? Will they be pulling out? And I think that you need to make sure that you try to communicate that as much as possible. You need to respond quickly uh, to it. But at the same time, when I, when I talk about asking a lot of questions, you know, as part of the board decision when, when we were deciding how to respond to it, uh, we had to gather a lot of information, and, uh, and that takes some time. But uh, people really respect the decisions. If you've done that, then it's not a, a knee-jerk operation. focus on crisis communication and the planning for crisis communication. The worst time to plan for a disaster is when you're in the middle of it. And the more work that can occur on the front end makes the actual execution of the plan much easier. Never underestimate the power of the goodness in people to come in and help out uh, when there is a disaster like this. And I think that not only have we learned that we should accept that help from other people, but also reach out and help others as well. It's really important to work together with the administration and to be supportive in, in a time where decisions need to be made quickly. Flexibility. Um, you have to be flexible. You have to make sure that you're able to move at a moment's notice in another direction. be aware of how much disaster recovery costs. There was the bill for cleaning up was fantastic. It was over a million dollars and it was way beyond what any of us had anticipated. So it's something to, to put in your plans and think about ahead of time. You have to pay attention to the people that are involved. Uh, uh, the media attention is typically initially on the physical damage to property uh, in these kind of situations. But these are very stressful events for the people who work in your organization. As you heard one key lesson learned, 
is the importance of good, strong, trusting relationships, whether it be between the board and the administration or the district and emergency management. Another lesson learned, you can't do it alone. Thanks to all who participated in this project. We wish you well as you continue the recovery process.